A couple of years ago, I did a video on how to do your very first animation in Maya. Now, the view count on that video is well over 300,000. And one of the reasons for that is that it helped people that are completely new to Maya to get started on the very cool thing called animation. So today's tutorial is how to do your first character. Now, this is going to be very, very basic, very low level. It's going to be for beginners, but it's just going to help you guys that are new to this to get started, you know, without reference, just making something fun, right? That's what it's intended for. So let's jump in and check it out. Here we go. So here we go. We're going to just start off by creating a body and it's always a good thing to start a very low poly, right? So what we'll do is we'll take a, a sphere and we'll go in here and I'm going to hit control A to open that up. And let's uh, bring that down to a very low value, but bring it down in the sense that we, we can actually cut it in half. And the reason for that is that we're typically going to be focusing on half of the model and then we're going to mirror that over, right? So we're going to go in here and I'm just going to right click at a face and delete half. And really at this point, I'm not even sure what it's going to be. Uh, probably something really simple, obviously. But first, let's kind of shape the body a bit. So what I want to do there is go into uh, Vertex and basically take these guys and just start to manipulate them. So uh, kind of narrower as we go towards the neckline and then maybe a bit, you know, a belly. Typically you want to have the belly a bit lower. So we'll make that a bit bigger. We'll push it in a little bit, kind of pear shape, if you will. And you can kind of exaggerate that a little bit if you want. You can push that in, but we'll go with something like this for now. Now that's from the uh, front view. From the side view, you want to have a difference there as well. So we're going to jump into, uh, let's see, this guy right here. What we want here is for the belly in the front to be way out there. I'm going to hit B to turn off my, uh, turn on my soft select. So let's go in here, do something like this. And at this point, we're already going to be going way back in. And I'll deal with that in a second, okay? Just make sure that as we get closer to the neckline here, we kind of go up and in. Oops. So we'll take those. Maybe pull this out a bit. see what we got yeah I think that'll work all right so and I'm just gonna do a quick preview smooth here just to see what it will look like so that will be half of the body I think that's fine it want to go back and then we're gonna need a couple of legs of course and these legs need to be uh, symmetrical when they come out obviously uh, so let's see where we can have these come out now you don't want it to come out of this face right here because then the legs will be touching each other so we don't want that so we're going to skip on over and we're going to go with this guy. And I'm going to hit Control E to extrude. Hit W to pull that out. And we want this to go up, of course, because we don't want those legs to go straight down. It's going to be sitting on the floor here. I'm going to hit E to rotate. Let's just get this into proportion here. Let's hit R to scale that down. And then I can scale that up once I have my bearing. And I try to get that to move that a bit forward. Okay, now I can scale it back up a little bit. I guess that's a good direction. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit W to raise that up a bit and extend it. And that will basically be the knee joint. And then I'm going to hit Control E again, hit W to move that out and push that down and hit R and scale that in kind of towards something that would look kind of like an ankle, right? Now, uh, keep in mind the height here. So we got this bottom section going on here. So I'm going to take this, hit W and basically flatten that out. So if we take the whole thing and push this down, 
we kind of know how high the heel should be that's pretty close okay and let's see how far that legs coming out it's not too bad so from here we're going to take this face control e to extrude w to pull out r to scale up and w to raise up for reasons that i just explained right and then we're gonna hit g to repeat w to pull out and r to scale back in and w to raise up in this direction now from there we're going to go in we're going to take the top there Control e w to move that up r to push that in and we're going to push it in this direction as well uh, not too bad and then we're going to hit w and kind of tilt it over in this direction again we'll do another quick preview smooth hit three you can see that it's a bit skinny but it's okay and if you don't want that you can actually go in and I'll just do a quick demo here you can go into edit mesh and bevel option box turn chamfer off and hit bevel so now if you hit three it will look more square-ish but I don't want that so I'm just gonna go back that's what we have so far so that's not too bad and then we need to come up with a uh, with arms of course now the arms typically come from the side and what we'll do here is we'll actually take these vertices hit w hit b to turn on soft select and kind of bring that in a bit and do the same here All right, so we're gonna have the arms come out of here. Turn B off, right there. Control E to extrude, W to pull out. Now from the top, we wanna make sure that it's about there. And we just want a little bit because it's gonna be the shoulder section. And we're gonna hit E to rotate it a bit. Hit R to scale it. That would be about right. Control E to extrude, W to pull out. From here, we're going down. We want to have the arm next to the body, but we also want to scale it in a bit, make it nice and thin. And depending on what kind of arms you want, we need to address this guy here. Take this edge, the W, kind of give that a bit more body. And then we'll take this guy, and we'll scale that up a little bit move the whole thing up so that's basically going to be i would say the elbow so we need to rotate this guy hit r to scale it down a bit e to rotate it back a little and maybe go in and take this edge right here and just hit w and slightly push that back okay and then we're going to go in here and we're going to take that forearm control e to extrude w to pull that out r to scale that in that would kind of work and then we're going to hit uh let's see control e once again w to pull out we're going to hit r and we're going to scale that way up hit e to rotate that G to repeat, W to pull out again, and R to scale that in again. And what we'll do is we'll uh, go in here, we'll go into injured edge loop, we'll put one in here, we'll hit W, we'll move that up to kind of make it a paw, if you will. That's not too bad. And then what we need to do is come up with a head, of course. Now for that, let's see. We'll um, take another polygon sphere. We'll go into the attribute editor again. Let's do six by six. W to pull up. Let's go in here. 
part of the scale down. We don't want it had to be that big. W to push down after frame. Let's kind of decide on what shape of head we want. I'm going to go in here and um, start by not cutting it in half just yet. But we're going to go into R, we're going to scale it in. And I kind of want the head to be somewhat pear shaped. So we're going to bring this in. And maybe we'll need to. Yeah, I think that's right. Now that's from that view. Now from this view, you can see that the head's too small. So we're going to go and bring that way up. Proportions are important, of course. That seems to be a bit better. And then we're going to go in here and I'm going to rotate this guy so I can cut half. So hit E to rotate, hold on J. There you go. So now I can go in here, right click, go to face. Drag, select, and delete. Now, let's see what we're going to do here. Shape the head a little bit. So, uh, I want to have some kind of uh, face features going on here. So, what I think I'll do is um, first start with the vertices. Let's start with these here. And I'm going to hit B for soft select. Hit W. Kind of bring that in a bit. And I'm really just kind of playing around with this. Tilt that forehead a bit. And then maybe push this up. Tilt that as well. I don't know, something like that. All right. Now let's see uh, some type of ears. Um, Let's have some ears come out here. So we're going to hit B for uh, turn the soft light off. I'll take that. Control E to extrude. W to pull out. All right. Let's hit R to scale that and E to rotate it. And then pull it out some more so it's not cutting into itself. And adjust that angle. Okay, that angle is a bit too much. There we go. Yep. We're going to W, we're going to move this forward, we're going to rotate it a bit more. And then I'm going to G to repeat, W to pull out. Let's pull that down. We'll do something rabbit style, I guess. And uh, let's uh, flip that down like so. Let's hit W. Let's see what's going on here. They seem to be okay. Yep. Yeah. Hit R, scale it down a bit. And then we'll hit G to repeat, W to push down. And R to scale that almost to a point. Like that. Okay. Now, let's see what's next. We're going to open up the modeling toolkit. We're going to go to multi cut tool. And we're going to go from here to here. Hit enter, and from there to there, hit enter. Q on a keyboard, go to object mode, go to modify and center pivot. Actually, let's combine these two first, mesh and combine. Then we're gonna go to edit, delete by type history, modify freeze transformation, and then we'll jump in, we'll hit the insert key move the insert key to the center, hit that again. And we're gonna go to edit, duplicate special, option box, negative one on scale X and duplicate special. Select both, right click vertex. And I'm gonna go in and select all of these and go to edit mesh and merge. That's fine, hit enter. So there's our rabbit style guy. Let's go and do that multi cut thing here. Come on, object mode. Should be one piece. 
Yeah, it is. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, let's see if that merge went okay, because we seem to have a gap here. So what I'm gonna do is go to Vertex, and we're gonna go to Merge. There you go, that's better. So it didn't take, looks like. So we're gonna go in here, and I'm gonna select all of these, hit G. That looks much better. Okay, so now that we have all that, um, what we can do is, and it's probably something I will do, take these two, W, bring that forward just a bit. I think that looks a bit better. And then what we'll do finally is give it a little bit more attitude. I think that is always a good idea. So we'll take these two and they will basically be his eyebrows. So we're gonna move them forward and down just to create a little bit of an evil look here. And I guess that's kind of cool. And then we want a down frown, if that is a thing. Yeah. Kind of like a mask almost make him look a little bit pissed looks like now let's uh, add a little bit of uh, pose and attitude okay now what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna hit B for soft select and I'm gonna take this here hit B and hold down uh, the B and left click and drag to kind of impact the that impacted area that's a bit too much so let's bring that down. Well, let's kind of rotate that a little bit. Hit W, push it back. Just so it's not identical. You don't want that. Never a good thing. At least not in my opinion. Let's bring that down. And then what we'll do here with the foot is we'll take one of these. And we'll kind of bring that in and to sell that we need to go in here and take that edge and bend that knee up possibly even out I'll bend that out here and I'll take this yeah it's a bit better let's bring that in okay let's see we'll take a uh, his hands and kind of bring that up you get the idea now what always works quite well is the position of the head so we'll go in here and we'll right click and get a vertex drag select these and then this as well and hold on B and pull it back just a little and then hit uh, W and we're gonna kind of move that head. As you can see, it's not impacting everything. There you go. So we're gonna kind of tilt that. Hit W, kind of bring that into the position where it should be. And then let's just hit E and kind of tilt that forward a bit. And again, hit W and bring that forward so it doesn't look too odd, right? So that is an attempt at a very, very, very simplistic character. But it's uh, intended for those of you who are completely new to this, want to play around with some basic shapes and get something that's fun and, you know, kind of resembles a character, okay? So just to get the creative juices flowing here, um, let me know if you've got any questions if you like this kind of thing or not, and uh, I'll uh, take the next step. And if not, I'll uh, quickly stop doing this, okay? All right, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future, and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.